Hello, I'm Growth Maven, your guide on growing and transforming with emotional intelligence. In this video, we will explore five workplace situations you can handle differently with your emotional intelligence and shine in. Remember to like, subscribe and share this video. Gone are the days when only hard skills, expertise and domain knowledge were the criteria for interview selection. In reality, an employee now needs to work with multiple personalities in numerous settings across regions and countries. There is tough competition, cultural diversity and tremendous work pressure. All these changes have paved the way for emotional intelligence in the workplace. The good news is that you can learn emotional intelligence which improves with experience. Let's explore five workplace situations where you can use your EQ, that is emotional quotient, to advance your career and have a progressive work environment. Number one, to resolve any conflict. Conflicts are widespread at work. Disagreements, personality clashes, miscommunication and confusion are all significant factors behind disputes. With your emotional intelligence in action, you can... Focus on resolving conflict instead of finger-pointing others or situations. Number two, you can understand and evaluate everyone's opinion objectively without bias toward your opinion. And number three, you can communicate your decisions effectively. So basically, you exhibit empathy, assertiveness, influence, leadership and problem-solving skills. All these contribute to your emotional intelligence. Number second, to work with a demanding co-worker or boss. The most common issue almost all of us deal with. It gets really stressful when your colleagues or bosses give you a tough time, isn't it? But with EQ in place, you can do three things differently. Number one, you can voice your thoughts clearly, ensuring people understand your words and intent without offending them. Number two, Put your social skills to use and build rapport with the people at work. And number three, say no according to your healthy boundaries in place. Your response shows confidence, cooperation, interpersonal and self-awareness skills. All these contribute to your emotional intelligence skills. Okay. So number three situation is to build worthiness. It involves demonstrating qualities and behaviors that make others feel confident in relying on you. With EQ, you can build it by four ways. Number one, showing an active interest in others' preferences and ideas and creating opportunities for them to grow. Number two, being truthful, admitting mistakes and upholding ethical standards. Number three, demonstrating expertise in your role and continuously improving your skills. And number four, appreciating every member for their individual contribution to achieving any collective goal. So basically, you exhibit reliability, competence, integrity and adaptability skills. Again, all of this contribute to your emotional intelligence. Number four situation is when we have to do self-control when facing setbacks. Failures often bring out our worst side. We become too negative too quickly. But with emotional intelligence in place, you can do things differently in three ways. You can stay calm and composed during a stressful meeting or when receiving critical feedback. You can avoid the urge to respond impulsively to a frustrating email and take time to formulate a measured response. You can treat your colleagues, superiors and subordinates courteously and respectfully regardless of personal feelings. So basically, you exhibit emotional regulation over your anger, impulses and distractions, self-discipline, patience and professionalism. So the last workplace situation is to negotiate better and make the right decisions. Now, negotiation is a skill you can never measure. The more you know how to do it, the better it is. With your knowledge of emotional intelligence, you can conquer the skills required for the best negotiation, that is, maintaining composure, finding solutions that consider the emotional context, 
showing patience to evade impulsive decisions and allowing time for thoughtful consideration. By doing so, you exhibit assertiveness, active listening, effective communication and the ability to handle pressure situations. In today's world, brilliance is not just about what you know, but also about how you handle what you feel. With high EQ, conquering everyday challenges and excelling in the workplace becomes easier. Shine bright and let the workplace witness the extraordinary impact of your emotional brilliance. The journey doesn't end here. It's just the beginning of your AI-powered success story. Stay high on EQ and stay exceptional. Share your emotionally intelligent moments and experiences with us in the comments below. Visit theblogrelay.com for guidance on emotional intelligence and self-awareness. Use the link in the description to contact me with any questions about this video. Thank you for tuning in. Hit the like, share, subscribe buttons for more fantastic content. Always stay curious and never underestimate the power of emotions. Bye.